Hello everyone. Thank you for watching Wikipedia World videos. In this video, we learn about how to access an archived IDOC. Okay. So in the first video of this SAP archiving, we have studied about the configuration part, which has to be done prior to archiving. Okay. In the last video, we have learned about the Sarati code. Okay, where we schedule the archiving okay the how to do archiving and then the deletion part okay so there is one more third option in the sarati code that is read okay so uh, apart from the sarati code there are few other ways also in which we can retrieve and read and archive idocs okay so uh, generally when we do archiving okay to access an archived object okay generally idocs are referred more okay uh, compared to other objects like a sales document or a material master record or whatever it could be when we compare to the other objects which are archived idocs okay when we talk about idocs they are like more uh, requirements or necessities which arise when we have to retrieve back an archived IDOC and analyze it. Okay, so how to access IDA archived IDOCs? So, once IDOCs are archived and deleted from the database, there are several ways to access the archived IDOCs. In any transaction with the option to select the data source, you can choose the archive to access the archived data. Okay, so we have few ways in which we can select an archived IDOC. Okay, so we have a couple of options. So in any transaction where we have an option to select the data source, okay, from there you can pull the IDOC which is archived. Okay, so IDOC search for business content here like this. You have a data source here, you can select the IDOC from the database or the archive okay and this is how it goes now in this video the following transactions are described in detail we09 we10 this is the IDOC search for business content okay either we09 or we10 these two transactions are used to search IDOC for business contents the next one is the Sarati code that is the read program for archived IDOCs. Okay. And the next one is AS underscore AFP, the archive file browser. Okay. So we have uh, these three WE09, WE10. From the Sarati code, you can retrieve the archived IDOC and this AS underscore AFP transaction code. It's the archive file browser. Now, if we go to this transaction, WE09 or WE10, search for archived IDOCs from WE09 and WE10. To access IDOCs in the archive, please click on the button data source in the transaction WE09. So, this is the initial screen for the transaction WE09 and 10. Okay, you go to this data source okay so here you get the initial screen okay so the the created at the created on okay the last changed you have many options so generally when you run this transaction okay to search a archived idoc we need to have basic details like the idoc number okay a better option better you know for better search criteria is providing the idoc creation date okay and what the message type or whatever it is of the idoc so you input all of them you go to the data source okay so here we have two options whether it's a database search or in the archive because we the idoc is already archived we select archive and then the archiving object is idoc and then we go to this archive selection so here okay so now generally we'll get a list like this see something like this 
we will get a list okay the sessions and the files say like our archiving strategy is in such a way that we will select uh, we will archive the docs which are older than 90 days or 180 days okay depending upon the basic type or the message types the uh, idocs are archived some message types we need to keep in the system for say for last three months some message types we need we need not require we can archive them in 30 days okay so that's why when they give you the idoc number the basic type or the message type and then the creation date of the idoc so you enter them in the initial screen you go to the data source you select archive and in this archive selection so after the creation date say like this particular message type of the idoc is archived in next 30 days then here you check that date so that's how you will select the file otherwise you you have to you know do uh, if you select all the files here it will be a long run okay so it will be impossible for you to search so that's why we should have the information like which basic type or which message type uh, that idoc is related to and also we should have the information like the archiving strategy for that basic type of the idoc say like this basic type is archived in next 30 days so if the creation date is 1 1 2012 then the idoc it would have been archived on 31 2012 right so then you check that date here randomly and then you select the appropriate sessions or the files so that will make the search faster and easier otherwise you select all the sessions in the files then the program will keep on running okay and it will time out after some time also okay so better we should know what type of idoc it is the idoc number helps you in searching faster the type of idoc and the creation date and also in the same time you should have the information about the archiving strategy of that particular idoc like after how many days this particular basic type of the idoc will be archived okay so then you select the particular session or the file and you run it then you it's displayed like this if an archive information system is created possible with the transactions are you the according button can be selected if not please go to the select files manually and choose the related archive files and execute the program okay so this sari take what if the archive information system you have it then you can select the appropriate option here but because okay this archive information system the first one or if not you have to select the files manually go to archive selection and select the files manually and execute it the result is shown as below this is how we get the result okay so in this you can search whatever idoc you want if you give the idoc number directly only that idoc will be displayed at least if you don't have the idoc number if you give uh, the corresponding uh, if you know the basic type and the message type okay and the creation date then accordingly we can select the files here so all the idocs which were idocked in that particular session on the file will be displayed like this okay or if you directly have the idoc number it's well and good okay so you get more information by expanding the lines of the output this so just click on this you'll get more details of the idoc okay so whatever it is when we retrieve an archived idoc we will be only able to read it we can't do any modifications okay not only idoc any object if we archive later we'll be only able to read it no more modifications are possible so same with idoc okay so you go to we09 or 10 to give you have to ask like if the functional team is asking the basis team for an idoc number for an idoc which is archived 
we have to ask them like what is the idea of number when it was created what is the basic for the message type okay so depending on that you will give the input in the first screen you select the data source it's because archive if you have an archive information system it's good otherwise you have to collect the files manually depending upon the date from the creation date we should be able to calculate the archiving time of that idoc okay and then execute it so then we get a list and if you expand it we'll get more details about the idoc okay so this is about the first option of uh, retrieving an idoc which is archive using we09 or we10 both both our transactions have the same screen there is not much difference okay so now the second option is the read program for archived idocs in sara in sara also we have one read option right we have seen this in the last video so the read program in transaction sara in transaction sara it is possible to start the read program for archived idocs r s e x a r c a the program also can be started in sa38 if you have no access to sara so for this particular read option in sara this is the program it's well and good if you have access to sara otherwise you can execute this program from sa38 or sa38 then this is how it looks okay so you have to give the username okay and then you execute it okay so then it will it will give you the output directly understood so this is about the uh, read program okay one option is we09 and we10 the other option is from the read read may, uh, option in the sara depot this is the second method to retrieve an archived idoc now the next one is searching for archived idocs with the transaction as underscore afp so once you start the transaction you'll get the following message okay so this is the message which we get you can just continue it okay so you can create a filter or you can display all archive files so it's better to create a filter so you you select based on the archiving object okay and click on the arrow towards the left the filter criteria the archiving object is on the right side now it's nothing but you have to select which column you want the creation date the archiving object okay or whatever it is okay then once you click on the green button you can see the archiving objects on the left side okay so now once you have selected whatever column names you want you get those values okay if you continue you will get them here okay so now you select your archived file to get the information about the ad hoc okay. so here you can give the whatever file you want to choose you can give it and then you can select it and then you will get the information about the ad hoc okay so this is using the transaction es underscore afp okay so the first one is we09 or we10 the next one is the deco sara the read option in the deco sara and the next one is as underscore afb okay so generally uh, not all uh, basis admins only some uh, authorized people in the basis team will be given access to sara okay uh, in the projects okay this is generally the strategy so if you don't have access to sara we need not worry we can pull the idocs from we09 or we10 or if you don't have access to sara you can directly run this program okay 
it will take you to that read option in the Zara decode only the same one or you can run this transaction as underscore afd so this is how we actually retrieve an archived idoc in sap okay so uh, this is a small video presenting the different steps to retrieve an archived idoc thank you